Welcome back to This Week at MBE. Um, I know we haven't done one in about three weeks, but um, we actually have a lot going on, so let's go through it. We got, um, we got our small block four, 12 degree. We offer this in a couple of different valve, valve arrangements and stuff like that. We have a 10 degree version, but this is the 12, so this is for high cubic inch or high RPM or both. Well, you can't get both, but you get one or the other. And then uh, go over here. So this one, this one's had op one done. So op one being, it's going to have hat washers put in this set. All the rocker gear has been drilled and machined, and it's been machined. Guide bores have been put in, and the uh, seat bore. So I'll put seats and guides in this here after the video, and we'll let this thing run. So that'll run most of the night. Then you can see, you know, this is how it started. So not a lot, not a lot done. So now this is that's op one. You can see how they're pretty much just blobs. So, uh, but you know, that's what's nice about coming here. We can police all of this, and it allows us to get creative when we get everything like this. So we don't have to do it like everybody else does. Okay. Let's see that one's that one's all ported. The one on the machine is ported, so that one's got to come off. There's another set that's ported right here. And then this is a set of our 18 degree conventionals that have been ported. So they just need to be valve job, guide tone and valve job. And then we have all the ingots. All these ingots are for the small block Chevy billet manifold. So like for the MBE 13 degree and the 10 degree. So that's what these fit for the dominator flange. You know, we also offer it for the 4150 for the for the dirt guys, but all these are for uh, are for the uh, dominator manifold. That we got some repairs coming in here this week. So this is two different customers right here. Well, three. We have we got to repair this. So I believe these are just a set of SC ones. So we we'll repair these. This is our Pro Extreme, our our Pro Mod head, blown alcohol dragster stuff like that. So they had a little damage, but once this is done, it'll look like just just like these other three. It'll look like a brand new head, and it'll more importantly, it will run like it's a brand new head. The the customer doesn't have to go, oh no, we have that head on. It, it, it's not like that. The, we'll get it right back to where the flow coefficients are the same and the power is the same. Uh, this one just got the head gasket here, so it may look like it's like both of those are. Are catastrophic, but uh, by no means these are very, very easy fixes for us. Um, you know, we've been repairing things for 30 years, so it's not a not a big deal. And, uh, here we got a lot of stuff going on here. We're finishing up a set of A460s right here, so. Uh, we're porting the manifold. We should have the manifold ported for this, um, I would say, by the middle of next week. And then these can be assembled and sent. So these are all valve job and everything. So all that's, um, these have been angle milled. Um, we got the chambers real small so the guy doesn't have to run a big dome in his piston. So it'll make more power because of flame travel. Um, and it allows us to do more at the chamber when we angle mill it. So that's a, another power advantage. And then of course, you know, you got the manifolds here. So those ingots that I showed you earlier, that's what we're making out of those. So we got a bunch of these to make. And these are pretty cool. Look at how light that is. I think it's like 11 pounds. So looks more like a race part than a cast piece. And then of course, these are all for customers. And then uh, we have our 13s right here. There's a couple more sets of 13s. So these, these will be getting with this. So that's why we got a machine more because we didn't have enough. Yay. More 13s. We got a set of nines here. Um, you know, this is a this is a different set of nines. So if we think your application, we have something that your application it is different than what we uh, what we have for it, um, then we'll come up with something different. So this customer is a completely different deal. It's a big block deal, but this is 
this is in more of a road race type thing. So we did smaller intake ports for it. We have a smaller exhaust port for it. And then the engine builder had a lot of things that he wanted just because of the stuff he sees. And, uh, and then we integrated all of that also. So um, these are, so this has got, so this has three different intake port options, two different exhaust port options as of now. And usually that just continues to grow, continues to grow. And then they get offered to other customers, so it works out good. And then uh, power adder deal here, or match port in the, the uh, customer's intake manifold. They got a set of our 18s. So we're doing that. That's all finished here. And then we'll come back in the, back here. Set for inventory. We actually got a deposit for the set here. Got those going, so that's another set of 13s. The reason why the 13s are so popular um, is because they'll outrun an SB2, they'll outrun a splayed valve head, and they will make a lot of power, NA, or, or with any power adder. And you can put half inch push rods. The valve train has been updated so you just don't have eight fasteners. And on a 600 flow bench, this thing probably flows like 455, maybe 460 on a 1020 bench it flows about 440 to 443 it's right in there okay right, don't come in here got the assembly room okay see more billet manifolds or eye candy it's like showing these 17 pounds not 35 plus designed correctly look at the line of sight and everything in that that just oozes sexy i don't know what to tell you that's all that does and then uh, another set of big nines these will be shipped out uh, on monday these are finished and then uh, we have another set of big nines oh no this is uh this is our 18 degree conventional head so these are just about finished we're just waiting for valve springs on these so this is a good deal here so this is using the m m casting we're able to use that with the with the mbe 18 degree head and uh, this is great because if, if it runs a lot of RPM or a lot of cubic inch, this manifold will work. But if, if you don't run that, then we're going to put you in a different manifold that fits your application. So we have three options on this. This is for large cubic inch or 500 or smaller cubic inch, like a 500 truck puller, and 9,800 RPM. Then it would need this. Okay. And then now, uh, got some more stuff going on in here. So just stuff in here for service. We've got two more sets of nines. So these are all CNC'd. All, we have, all, all they're in here for now is to hone the guides. So we'll hone the guides on these. Um, this guy is getting a, a billet manifold, so that's all finished. Um, this is two fours, so Dave at HRE at Hughes is doing the manifold for this. And then uh, we have a set in here to be serviced. This is for our friend Steve Williams. These are in here to update. And then we have another set of our SB2s in here to be serviced. So that is pretty much, I know it's a lot of stuff, but that's, we've got a lot of things going on still, which uh, we're certainly grateful for. And thank you everybody for watching. Have a good day.